I've been encouraged by myself, and uh, I always tell people when I meet them, don't give up, and you know, just keep, keep, and you know, you leave, you know, everything that everybody else just tells you, you know. Uh, one of my very good friends, Adnan, who's not here, you know, there's some people who believe in you, and they always tell you, you know, you've got to do it, it's okay, it's fine. Um, but still, it's, a, it's at an early stage for me. I have lots of uh, questions for the panelists, and I have uh, a long way to go in terms of how to introduce myself. The same thing I think a gentleman here asked, how do you get uh, the boutiques here to, to get interested in you, because that is still an area where I'm, uh, you know, I'm struggling. And also to go global, and I think everybody that everybody is, you know, thinking, I think we all think alike, and we all have the same kind of questions. So I think my question is, uh, and okay, one more thing. I recently ventured into digital printing, so I have made this whole, I mean, there's no design to it, it's a very simple pattern, but I did the whole thing myself, I made it myself. So the artwork is mine. I've made a couple of these in long and short ones. Just again, it's a captain. Uh, so I'll make it very short. I'll just ask my question. Uh, what really do you think are the areas of opportunity within the local market? Somebody who's there, who feels who can do it. They've got a bit of positive response, uh, you know, from you know from some of their clients that they might already be having. How do they go full force? How do they go and you know just get it? I think you've got beautiful products. It's, it's very, very colourful, very, you know, just, just lovely. Um, but I think you have got a very niche market. Um, so I think you should probably just focus on that to begin with and, and really sort of, you know, trying to maybe look into sort of more of the, you know, uh, like those that back sort of the, the tourism aspect, you know, and maybe look at, I can envisage your, your brand being successful in the Mad Maps or places like that where you do have um, a local sort of. Uh, presence, but you also have, you know, a lot of tourists as well, um, and I think that, you know, to sort of take your brand to the next level, perhaps those sorts of places and shops are where you would be able to maybe raise your, your price level, you know, because obviously in the a capital like this, I don't know how much you're asking for normally, but I would say from what you might be asking for normally, you could possibly double that, or even more because that is the, the, the retail price point in that type of environment. Um, as long as obviously your, yeah, your quality, your stitching and everything else is up to the same mark. Um, but I would, yeah, I, I would, with, with your product and everything that you've got, I think I would look at places like the Magna or the soup type of environment, which, you know, it's got a mix of local and tourism. So. Um, wait, the moment you said there are three signs, I thought about, you know what, this would be great if you have, for example, like a Facebook group where mothers and ladies who sit at home would just not to shop online or just have a look and look at all of your products. <coughs> that's something that, you know, that's basically the location they can refer to your products and so on. So I don't know if you're considering Facebook or you have a Facebook group basically for people to go and order. I know there are a lot of people who are not so sure about putting their products online. But for example, like my own mother and my own aunt, for example, they, they're, I mean, they're pretty much a target audience because they wear captions for, for, for gatherings and for you know, Friday gatherings, etc. So it's just a matter of easy access, easy access to your own target market, the people that, the existing audience that you already have. How do you can make that easier for them to sell more products and for them to go through the variety that you have whenever you have a new uh, basic collection? Thank <laughs> you.